Welcome back to McVee Ford. Today I'm taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford Bronco. Now this particular Bronco is a wild track trim level, which is one of the highest trim levels that you can get on the Bronco. Now we're gonna take a quick walk around the outside of this particular one, and then we'll hop into the interior. Uh, now this particular one here is finished in race red, which is a very, very bright red color and uh, definitely uh, makes you stand out. And the wild track includes the Sasquatch package, which is a, an off-road package that you can get for some of the other trim levels uh, as option, but actually comes standard on the wild track. And it includes these massive 35 inch tall tires. Now this is a Goodyear uh, territory mud terrain. So it's actually mud terrain tire. It's very, very aggressive tread, pa tread pattern. And it does sit on a 17 inch beadlock capable wheel. Uh, gloss black finish on the wild track model. We also have the Fox suspension. Now it is not the live valve like you would see on like maybe a Raptor model, uh, but it is a Fox internal bypass suspension system that is also used exclusively on the wild track. This one has the modular steel bumper with the additional brush guard. Uh, so this separate piece here is actually an option that you can get for the modular bumper, includes the tow hooks, and you do get a nice view of the suspension through here as well. Of course, we have full underbody skid plate protection, loads and loads of ground clearance. Front view camera system right there with the Bronco logo spelled out. And this one does have a little wild track graphic on the hood. Also with this Sasquatch package, you do get the wider fender flares. So it, actually, it does uh, give you a little bit of a wider stance. There's your wild track Sasquatch on the side of the fender. Mirror spotlight as well as the side view camera. And we even have the blind spot indicator in the top corner there. Now this particular one is a four door model and it's also offered as a two door. Uh, but again, this one's the four door with the hard top. Nice LED design here with the taillight and we do have the full size spare tire mounted to the back here. So we have a massive 35 inch tire mounted to the back here. Uh, so LT 315 70 again on that 17 inch wheel. We also have some rear tow hooks back here. And this one does have the towing capability package. So we have the class four hitch receiver with four and seven pin connections as well as the rear parking sensors. And we'll take a look into the interior. Uh, this one does have the optional keyless entry pad on the door. Uh, typically they don't come with that, but you can put them in if you want. And this one also has the optional leather seat option. So typically it is actually a vinyl and cloth material, but this one, uh, the customer, this one did option in the leather. Uh, so it's a little more comfortable and it does include the power functionality. So it's fully power operated and they're also heated as well. This one has the Lux package, which is the top equipment group offering for wild track basically means this thing is fully tricked out, fully, fully loaded. The door panel, uh, all the doors and also the roof are fully removable. So it's fully modular. You can take the door off very easily. You have one electrical connector and also two uh, bolts for the hinges and the door does come right off. Uh, but we'll climb inside here. I'll hop up inside, it is a quite Quite a large vehicle. Um, so we do have the key fob here, sorry. We have the key fob, uh, which is keyless and it does include remote start and push button start. And powering this Bronco is the 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine, which makes 315 horsepower. Now the uh, wild track is only available with that engine. Uh, the 2.3 liter EcoBoost is available on the lower uh, trim levels, which makes a little bit less power and it's also available with a manual transmission. Uh, but if you get the 2.7 liter, you actually only get the 10 speed automatic. So in this case, we do have the 10 speed automatic, but they are both fantastic transmissions. Uh, of course, if you want more power, you have to go to that 2.7 liter uh, and you are kind of stuck with the 10 speed automatic. Um, but they all are four wheel drive, of course. And this one being a Sasquatch, you do get the addition of 4A, which is a nice uh, automatic system, good for more slippery conditions. It'll kind of automatically engage that front drive axle uh, for you. 
but on the Lux package, we do have a nice heated steering wheel, which is of course leather wrapped. We have adaptive cruise control, lane centering, all of the various different driver assistance features. And then we have a nice screen there in the gauge cluster, which is controlled from these buttons right here. And you can scroll through various different things like trip and fuel information, off-road statuses, navigation, all the various different little settings in there. And in the off-road, this is where you can kind of view a lot of different uh, things other than off-roads. You actually have uh, your tire pressures. You also have gauges, so you can view a gauge summary. And then you also have individual gauges like boost pressure, you have oil temperature, transmission temperature, and the battery voltage. Uh, so you can basically view everything you ever need to with that screen there. And in the middle, we do have the SYNC 4 12-inch display. Uh, this is included on high package and above, so that includes the LOX package. So we have the larger 12-inch display, very high resolution, very, very nice screen here. Uh, we do have the Sirius XM satellite radio and Bluetooth, all your phone settings, you have navigation, and also the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So wireless connection, much, much better than uh, having to plug in your phone. And then zone lighting, all your towing stuff right there. On top of the dash, this is what Ford calls the hero switches. Uh, so we actually have a front and le uh, rear locker. Uh, so you can lock up your differentials through those buttons and then trail turn assist, which is exclusive to the 10 speed automatic transmission. And then we also have traction control as well as the hazard lights. And these are nice rubberized uh, finish. So they're, they're meant to get wet, they're meant to get dirty and you could easily clean them off. So that's uh, super cool. Again, push button start. It's actually standard across every single Bronco, uh, regardless of the trim level. So push button start is standard across the board. And then down here we have the climate control system, which is dual zone with the uh, with the Lux package. And again, heated seats as well as the heated steering wheel. We even have a wireless charging pad right down there. And again, these are your four wheel drive settings. And we also have trail control right there in the middle. And you can actually spin this dial to cycle through various different drive modes, which includes normal, eco, sport, slippery, mud ruts, sand, and Baja. So there's a lot of different drive modes and it'll actually automatically change the four wheel drive settings and all your buttons up here for each particular one. So you can actually just put it into a mode and it'll kind of do all the work for you. So it's super easy to off road this thing. Down here we have the window switches with the mirror controls. Nice Bronco logo right there. And up top we have the six auxiliary switches. But we'll take a look into the rear seat of the Bronco. Again, this is the four door model. So you do get a little more space back here compared to the two door. And again, we do have the leather seats, sandstone with the black color. I think looks fantastic, especially on the wild track. Flip that down, we have some cup holders. And I apologize, it's a little bit dark back here, but we do have a 400 watt inverter outlet and also USB so we can keep everything charged up, no problem at all. And then the window switches are on the back of the console there. To take the roof off, you do have a series of little levers and switches you kind of undo, and then it actually just comes right off. But we'll come around to the trunk area. So we have the swing gate, which is the bottom section, and that will kind of power its way open, and then the hard top kind of just flips open like that, super easy. And uh, with the four door, uh, you do get a lot more space in the trunk area compared to the two door. Um, this is where you gain most of your space is the trunk. This one has the subwoofer here on the right side for the Bang & Olufsen sound system, rubber floor mats, and also the roof uh, panel storage, which actually comes uh, as standard as well. Additional storage underneath with the tire changing kit and those rear seats do fold down as well. So if you're interested in a Bronco Wild Track just like this one, you can give us a call or visit us at mcfeeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.